This video will cover the topic, finding the asymptotes of a rational function constant over linear. Rational functions are defined by rational fractions in which both the numerator and denominator are polynomials. In this specific topic, we will focus on when the numerator is constant and the denominator is linear. In order to determine the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, we will need to examine what values make the denominator zero as well as the degrees of the numerator and denominator. Let's take a look at an example. Find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of f of x is equal to 3 over x minus 4. Vertical asymptotes are determined by setting the denominator equal to 0 and then solving for the variable. This is because we cannot divide any number by 0, so the graph will not pass the line containing x values that make the denominator zero. This reminds me of when we have to find values that make an expression undefined. This is a similar process. If we set the denominator equal to zero, we get x minus four is equal to zero. By adding four to both sides, we get x is equal to four. This means that we have a vertical asymptote at the line x is equal to 4. Now we can move on to finding the horizontal asymptote. As a rule, a rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote. We can determine if and where a horizontal asymptote exists by looking at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. There are three main rules when finding horizontal asymptotes. We refer to the degree of the numerator as n and the degree of the denominator as m. The first rule is that if n is less than m, then the horizontal asymptote is that y is equal to 0. An example of this would be if we were given x squared over x cubed, because the numerator has a degree of 2 and the denominator has a degree of 3 and 2 is less than 3. The second rule is if n is equal to m, then the horizontal asymptote is given by y is equal to the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator. And the last rule is if n is greater than m, there is no horizontal asymptote. Now, let's see which one of these rules applies to our problem. We have f of x is equal to 3 over x minus 4. A constant expression has a degree of 0, because we can think of 3 as 3 times x to the 0th power. So our numerator has a degree of 0. A linear expression has a degree of 1 because we can think of x as x to the first power. So our denominator has a degree of 1. Which rule do you think applies to our problem? Well, 0 is less than 1, so we can use the first rule that says if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Right, exactly. So this means we also have a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. So now that we have our vertical and horizontal asymptotes, we can now plot our function on the coordinate plane. First, we will draw a dotted line on x is equal to 4, since this is our vertical asymptote. Then, we can solve the function for some values of x that are less than 4. In order to get a graph of the line on the left side, of the vertical asymptote. Our first point that we have is at 0 and negative 3 fourths. And then at negative 1, we have negative 3 fifths. And then at positive 1, we have negative 1. And at 2, we have negative 3 halves. By connecting these points, we get a line that looks like this. Now, we can solve for values of x that are greater than positive 4. In order to get 
the plot of our graph to the right of the vertical asymptote. Our first point is when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3. And then when x is equal to 6, y is at 3 halves. And when x is equal to 7, y is 1. By connecting these points, we get a line that looks like this. Notice how both lines never touch the x-axis. This is because of our horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 0. That's a lot of information. Let me make sure I understand it all. So when finding vertical asymptotes, we set the denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. When finding horizontal asymptotes, we need to examine the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator and look to see which rule applies. When we have a constant expression over a linear expression, the horizontal asymptote will be zero. Does all that sound right? Great job remembering all that.